my friend, your girl here, Camille Thompson, Miss Naturalist. Oh my God, why well, my face so oily? Anyway, I'm not gonna stop this video. I'm gonna just talk. So I wanted to update my subscribers, let you guys know what has been going on with your girl. So, boom, I'm relocating again a second times. I have to say again because I did move to Florida about four years ago and I moved back. So anyway, let you guys know this is my channel. I feel like I wanted to update you guys on my journey. So yeah, I'm doing it a second time. First time did not work so well for me uh, because after factoring some things out such as job settings, um, it was not working out for me. I do have uh, my medical assistant uh, certificate and license, but my license expired. Um, therefore, getting a job there would be like nothing. Like it, it does not pay well for me. And so being that I, at that time, I was a freelance photographer as well. I realized that photography is not in demand as well. Uh, therefore, certain things was just not going to work out for me. And I do refuse to work any in any job because I feel like I have skills. And when I have skills, I need to put it to test and, and use them to generate income. That has always been my discipline. So anyway, that did not work out. I ended up had to move back to New York because my husband did not want to move. Anyway, when I came to New York back in 2014, yeah, 14, it was a total disaster. You hear me? Make a long story short, let me tell you, we had to start all over. We crashed. We literally went hit rock bottom, go through some issue, and I'm telling you, God was on our side. Because I don't know how we made it, but we did made it. And that's how I know God is real. So anyway, I felt like for every disappointment and everything that happened, there's always a great outcome. Because I felt like the outcome of that situation that we were in put us in a place where we is in a much better place now. So, you know, and I'm grateful for all the help that I've got throughout these years to help put me back on my feet. You want more icy? Gotta cut this video real quick to get her more ice, my gosh. Sorry guys, had to cut this video real quick because this girl kept bothering me for ice. She do have a fever right now, so I was ending up just giving her liquid and cold stuff to help bring to reduce the fever so anyway let's go back into my convo as i was saying that god took us out of this situation you know and i was grateful for every support family support church support every kind of support there is i'm glad and i'm extremely grateful for it but god put us back on our feet right and so um we felt like it's time now to start something for our children I mean, I'm 33 years old. I, I felt like New York City cannot give me what I want. I mean, yes, we can get a job, but at the end of the day, um, I don't see myself can start something here because the inflation is so high. And I mean, going anywhere else I know would be expensive, but also I'm really looking for peace of mind and just the mental, the mental calmness that I can't get here. I just cannot get it. No matter what I try, I can't get it. It's just, New York City is just too fast paced for me. And I've been living here for 20 something years now. And I can, no matter what I do, I cannot get that peace of mind. However, when I went to Florida, I knew that I had it. I, I, I was so healthy there because I get that time to rejuvenate and take care of myself and things. I mean, I can't expect Explain it enough but I know what I wanted and the time I came back here it put me back right in a spot that uh, I just have to get back out of here not just that the job opportunity is there for me so you know I just said you know what let's just do it so yeah your girl relocated and I know that God is going to work it out this time for us why I said that I have been praying. I asked God to help me. I try not to do things off my flesh like what I think or what I want to do. I tend not to just jump and do things. 
anything I want nowadays I really ask God for it I pray about it and help me you know help my perception to make right decision and so you know moving to Florida um, many may say it's not the right decision but I know that it is for me um, a lot of people has negative response to it because I moved there four years ago and it didn't work out for me so dear perception why move in there a second time but my thing is that as the Bible declares if your faith is small as a mustard seed that's all it takes have faith to know that things is gonna work out so for me I have strong faith that this time he's gonna help me out and this is what that this life is all about you know when things doesn't work out you just have to keep trying you can't just keep you know give up that's not that's not in my book you know I felt like I, I call myself the action taker I call myself jack of all trades and I feel like he's gonna help me to be in that comfort that I that I'm trying to position myself in so your girl relocated again and so I just wanted to update my subscribers, letting you guys know what I will be doing. Um, thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Um, what pisses me off this week, though, I planned this moving thing for one year. Listen to this. I planned the time that I was going to move. My husband was supposed to move me down, and there was a problem with that, getting the time off from his job boom schedule a moving company to move me they gave me an estimate between the prices and when I came here they jumped from two five two eight or whatever to eight thousand dollars did you see how the devil worked trying to disappoint me but that's not gonna work so here's what I had to do reset some things and guess what I'm back on my way that's not going to work and that's how the devil works sometimes always try to come up to mess things up but guess what God got my back so I will be moving my furniture to Florida and I'll be on my way for my kids kids are not here I moved them a couple weeks ago so you know it's just a matter of me just making that final moving and that's that but yeah, I wanted to update you guys to let you guys know what's going on with your girl Miss Naturalist Even though this is a wig. I did a tutorial on it. Also, I'm gonna be sharing it with you as well But yeah, wish me luck guys. I know that things are gonna work out for me this time Trust me. I'm in a much better position and I'm asking God just to you know help me go through the whole process and all I want to do is start a foundation for my kids and you know what God help those who wants to help themselves if he knows that I want to start a foundation for my children he will help me to get to that place right and that's how I feel so if you like this video give your girl a thumbs up and if you have not already subscribed subscribe and I'll definitely keep you guys posted you know Sometimes I'll be rumbling all over this video. I'm sorry. That's just me trying to find the perfect words to say and Just trying to keep it short, you know not trying to extend the video But yeah, I wanted to let you guys know. Thank you for watching my friend and don't forget Let me tell you if I never told you this All of you who has been watching my video if you have been watching it. I appreciate you Know that I appreciate you. So my friend, thank you for being here. Take care now. Bye-bye.